think it's a frame eight move, but it it it, it, it act, it's actually more than ten frames because you actually have to press forward on a frame and then down. So it, it's an eight frame move that's actually a ten plus frame move. But even still, you're invincible like when you're doing it. It's super safe on shield. Does like like twenty damage in combos. It's insanely good. <clears throat> Okay, so going right into this, the first thing I was just kind of focusing on was just kind of showcasing my movement. Just trying to show like all the different things you can do out of Crouch Dash. There is like so much depth to how many different ways you can cancel out of this move. Matter of fact, if you just tap back whenever you do this, it'll actually give you the ability to buffer any tilt, any angle tilt out of it. So you can quite literally cancel this momentum at any time and just use whatever move you want. It's super, super strong. Here we go. You already see me getting grabbed. Forward throw into the wall. We use a lot of laser here, right? Because it's like a call out for like, hey, you're about to commit to something, so I'm just gonna hit you here, and it's free damage. Does the uh, the ceiling in the walls actually do anything? Uh, so it's like it it doesn't do anything if you're at a certain percent. Then it's on. Then it doesn't change room. It doesn't like save you. Pretty much. Not that I. Not that I'm aware of yet. Oh my gosh, that up throw like, was did that, so Did strong. that help you live, for example? Or is it the stage? Yes, up? yes, it definitely did. That definitely did. Like the walls, like where they're broken, it looks like. It pretty much seems like you can tech the wall wherever it's at. And the blast zones on the sides are insanely small. This is a cool stage. Okay. Oh, I love it. I, I love this stage so much. Yep, there's the command grab. You're gonna see a lot of stocks get taken with that command grab. It is Ooh. super strong. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yes, down here also mad strong taunting. We're just having a good time. You can clearly see that. So here we go. I'm going back trying to feeling each other out. Like that's gonna be like a lot of our neutral, right? It's just gonna be like weaving in and out until we like see if someone's gonna commit or someone's gonna like call us um call one of the other um call the other one out at any point for just like whiffing and like you know with four off buttons. How do you know? Uh, not, not the 10 hit combo. No, you just hold away. It's, that's not real. <laughs> <laughs> that's not real in the fifth hit. <laughs> I put my controller down. What can I say, man? <laughs> that move right there, um, the double tap forward A, being negative nine is super, super good because of the shield pushback because it sets up for like mid range block strings, Ooh, like, so back, strong. like your back tilt, stuff like that. All right, all right. So, like, if they DI in, surprisingly, even on like non electric wind godfish, you can actually get follow ups from that, I've learned. Like, the proper DI would be DIing away, but if they DI in, you can actually loop into up tilt and keep it going. And if you get electric from that, you can get even more follow ups from it. DIing in is very scary, but the, the Kazu has to follow up, like, where you're going. You feel like right there, try to get it there, and mess with the electric wind godfish. It's kind of tight timing. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> DI away is like you're going to air dodge or tech in place. That fourth smash is illegal, dude. <laughs> it is actually not okay. Apparently, I, I saw from like I saw on Twitter somewhere that the the strong hit of his F smash hits slightly harder than Ganon's forward smash. I'm not even surprised. I'm not even surprised. I mean, if you can tank a cloud forward smash, I mean, why not? Why not? This character probably has got everything except. I mean, it doesn't come like out to frame 25 though. Is... It's a frame 25 F smash. Pretty slow though. Oh yeah, what, but what, when does the armor start though? I, I don't know the armor frames. It's, it's gonna be easier when, when you just look at the data online. Oh yeah, people are, people, I, I would test it myself, but with people just data mining the game, I might as well just wait for that. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Okay, going right back into it. You can already see I, I rely heavily, like just like, hey, if you're gonna dash in, I'm just gonna hit back, um, back tilt every single time. It's so, so good. You can even approach with it. And it just kind of pushes them away to like, oh, if you hold shield here, I can double tap forward and immediately break your shield from like two hits on block. Very, very strong. Yeah, stop doing that. Stop doing that. I tried to get Electric Wind God Fist there. Down throw Electric Wind God Fist, I, I swear, like, uh, whenever people optimize it, there's going to be zero to death just from getting a grab. What? I actually discovered an out of shield Nair option that I actually give you a zero to death as well. But you're, you know your jump squat's not for seven frames, so out of shield Nair is actually frame 15. Oh. Okay, well, don't do anything laggy or you could just die then. <laughs> yeah, no, so Kazuya, for those that don't know, Kazuya has a seven frame jump squat. He's the only character in the game that doesn't have a three frame jump squat. It's seven, four frames slower. Oh, and another interesting thing, his double jump, he doesn't rise in the air to frame 10. He's just in place for a while. There we go. Try to get the juggle. Oh, what? The, oh, yeah, right. That That's invincible. <laughs> the, God, the electric wind got this. Yeah, yeah, like if you're trying to land on Kazu, you can just die because like at any point you try to do that. Oh my he, God, he, he just Godfist you. He just electrics you every time you try to land on him. 
Bam. Mm-hmm. 40 damage grab. Yeah, you can't land, you cannot land on Kazuya, like, optimally. I don't think you're gonna be able to do it. You got hit twice and went from 20 damage to 89 damage. Yep, that's the character. <laughs> The great thing that uh, Felix Speaks slept on is its anti-air up B because the fact that it's really non-committal and you can act out of it is super, super strong. And it kills pretty early, too. Oh, yeah, this is something that I've been doing uh, oh! here recently. I haven't seen any other Kazuyas do it yet. I actually mix up the timing of whenever I hit my opponent to kind of like bait out what they're doing out of hit stun. So like sometimes like jab jab or something like that. A lot of times like I can get something out of that. You know, the thing is, like, I knew this whole time that we were playing this. Hey, I can just double tap oh. and hit A and just reflect this. Oh! Nope. <laughs> he got it. What was that? The demon throw? Whatever it's called? It's the 32 uh, it's damage Hell's grab. Gate. Yes. What was it called? It's called Hell's Gate. Hell's Gate. Yeah, that, that, that move is so cool. That You know, that that does almost twice as the damage of your normal grab. Like, normal grabs, they do all they all do like 15, 17 damage. Like, 15 mm -hmm. damage, 17, 18 damage. That move does like 31 or 32 damage. Here's a fun fact. If you actually do that out of crouch dash, it actually gives you full body, uh, not full body, upper body iframes into the grab. So not only do you get that, whenever you rise from crouch dash, you get full body iframe, uh, full body, ha um, top, ha um, from the waist that up iframes, and you just get the grab. So you just and invincible just crouch dash into invincible grab. Yes, yes, essentially. <laughs> And it forces tech chases too, so like even at low percent, you can do like angle down laser and like catch so many people. So this character is really good. He just has Extremely. a it's just the only the, it's, it's just that he has a learning curve. Yes, absolutely. See, I've uh, specialized in playing the FGC characters pretty much since launch, and I have to say that this is a totally different character. That's There's what Riddles told me too. Nothing relatable. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. I mean, the, the sure you can input definitely is transferable. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much, like, yeah, like, yeah, there's some stuff like that, but as far as how he plays neutral, win objectives, stuff like that, totally different. Totally different. <laughs> Dude, that, that move is so cool looking. Yeah, like, I have to say his rage drive is... Broken. It's something. <laughs> yeah, like, Broken. why does, why does it go through shield? Trying to catch his uh, landing here. I feel like that's going to be a lot of what Kaja does. If you're in a juggle state, just shark landings. If they're at ledge, just kind of stand at roll distance and faint with your movement until they commit. Like, that's going to be, like, a lot of, like, his main focuses whenever he's trying to, like, fight you. Because, obviously, everyone's going to want to run away from you, right? Yeah. They're going to want to go to the corner. Or so, it's here. always going to be about, like, I need to control center stage and, like, kind of make sure I have good option coverage for whatever options you're burning to get out of this bad position, right? So, I feel like that's going to play into his favor because a lot of people are going to corner themselves because they're going to want to run away. Yeah, when you think about it, he just, he's just, he's just good. Like, if he didn't have, I feel like if he if he didn't have crowd stash, you'd be like, okay, I'll just camp, I'll just camp you. But the, the fact is, if you corner, if you you're trying to camp him, but he calls off the camp, then he just takes stage from you, and it, invincible approaches and invincible approach and grab at any random moment, unreactable. It's so crazy to have. I think his main weakness is going to be getting platform camps, but then he's just like, well, I ban battlefield. I mean, yeah, but I feel like we might have counterplay over time because if you cancel your double jump, like your nair is negative three, there's stuff you can do with that. You have an up air that kills. Man grab is reactable in some senses, but I feel like you can still like double jump up there and catch people. And you have an anti-air up B that can kill and is very less committed than like things like Ryu sure you can or Ken sure you can, stuff like that. But that's definitely gonna come in his favor, I feel. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh, man, the snipes. That was bro. cool. That was God, cool. That was so cool satisfying. Ending. It's just a basic downward laser, but it looks cool. Huh, look, 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 uh, look, look at him clap his hands. He's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even look. He can't even look he's at the not, screen. He's not even going to look it. at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Lost three, uh, three sub for the prime. And thank you, Hoop, for the resub. Entire year. Thank you. And thank you, AK Gridlock. This guy's from Tekken, yeah. 
Though, Mewtwo King, like, honest opinion, like, you see this character, you've seen all the crazy stuff that he does. What do you think? Like, you think top tier? You say yeah. high tier? What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Okay. He's top tier. I'm saying top tier. I'm saying top tier big time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> top tier, but with a learning curve. One, go. But then, even if you're not good, you just uh, get rage and then grab them. <laughs> and then you still do okay. <laughs> This man really wanted me to land in that forward smash. Oh my lord. <laughs> what? The, the, the classic <laughs> online project, like projectiles are better online. <laughs> Absolutely. That See, the laser itself is definitely reactable. Yeah, right? it's, just, it's just not reactable online as much. That's, that's it's why I call it the, the classic projectiles project. online. Oh, wall oh his own stage is good for him. Who would have known? Oh! <laughs> yes, I forgot I got that. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, yeah, you're going to see that a lot, right? Like, the bread and butter get away from me tool is definitely going to be jab, jab, delay, jab, right? It's super strong. It kills. Sets up the tech chases. At low percents, like, I've recently, recently learned this. You just angle down your projectile and just, like, snipe them on the ground. Gets a little bit of extra damage. It's just really good all around. Oh, my gosh. He anti... That, that, so that barely killed 200, though. It doesn't really... I mean, I guess it has to be that weak. But that's, that's yeah. good. When you're already off stage, that's good enough, though. I guess it's yep, always going to be down throw electric when Godfish. That's always the combo, it seems. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you get down throw, that is definitely what you do. What you want to do. I feel like it's, like, weight dependent, obviously. It's just, like, right now we haven't fully discovered, like, what's the most optimal thing at, at the at higher percentage yet. But I'm sure there will be something. Yeah, I, I still feel like it's probably gonna be that though. Oh yeah. And what's best after the Godfist? Uh, dragged on there. Um. Well, here's the thing. Um. I labbed this a while back, and sometimes, like, if you don't have enough rage, like when you do the Nair, like they're able to shield or spot dodge. But what I have learned that you can do is you can get up to into another Electric Wind Godfist and loop it. So you can like, do that a couple times, and then once you get them at that percent, you can probably jump and then do Nair and then like continue from there. But there's honestly, if I'm being 100% honest with you, there's like a, I feel like there's like a hundred different ways you can go about this character's combo routes, but just because of how much depth he has. Oof. <laughs> hey, that's it. I do that. That move is so cool. <laughs> it just puts you through a wall, man. It's great. Yep, jab, jab, wait, grab. jab, wait, grab. One thing that's really cool about his down tilt at lower percents, it actually forces a tech. You have to. And if you miss tech, he can actually just side B right into you. And if he lands it again, he can just do it again. So, like, he's going to be a tech chase monster because, like, if you do land on the ground, he just side B and immediately puts you in crumple, which is just ridiculous. Why not? You just exploded what? him. Oh, you had a, I'm, Oh, you're beating me? Oh, well, I happen to be four damage above where, where I get my rage grab that kills you at 60. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Fair and balanced. Hey. I'm nice. <laughs> that was a great cut. That, that was a great strategically losing on purpose to get that rage grab <laughs> at the right moment. <laughs> my brain was firing on all <laughs> cylinders, I promise. <laughs> Oh man, this was definitely a fun experience. Can, so, can see, someone like, tell me why Kazu's rage grab does double the damage of Bowser, of Bowser's? Like, do you do you know how like heavy and strong Bowser is? He like he body slams you. I feel like Bowser should be stronger, but nope, one, his is twice as strong. Go! But Bowser also has a faster grab in general, so I kind of yeah, see I know, but but he's a he's like a he's like an elephant. Wait, he's basically an elephant, an elephant that jumps. Super, like a, a house hot, a house distance high and slams you on the ground. <laughs> he just didn't care. <laughs> so yeah, this is like pretty much just like like week like week one policy stuff, just trying to like find our ways in, trying to figure out how to combo into our stuff. This is just this is just what it is right now. This stage is mad fun though. I have to say you die so early. <laughs> Y'all trying to god fist, dude. Is that, what the, is that, is that what the character is? It's got this electric fist? Mm-hmm. Yep, pretty much. Because, like, think about it. Think about it optimally. Why would you, if you are consistent at electric wind god fist, why would you not throw that move out? The Whenever only, it literally does not care about I feel anything. like the whole character is, can I electric wind god fist? Yes. Well, use the character. Nope. Well, 
<laughs> GG's. <laughs> That's actual facts. Like, if you're not going to learn how to be consistent with Electric Wind Godfist, do not play this character because it's literally the most important button. I feel like it's the most important. They made that move so broken. Specifically that move. One move that a lot of people, I've actually, I think there's actually multiple moves that people sleep on is honestly cause you as areas. The fact that they all combo into themselves and they can combo into Electric Wind Godfist is insane. Like fair, Electric Wind Godfist. Nair, Electric Wind Godfist. And then you just go from there. And they're like, if optimally guaranteed to go to 80 and possibly when optimized, you might just be dead. Oh, you can also do full hot rising Nair and then double jump fair. And then if they don't DI away the fair, you either landing Nair or landing upper. And you get a, like 40, a 0 to 42. Oh, I'm actually glad you brought that up. I elabed it with training mods with the IOA, and there's still a way to get a zero to death from that into Electric Wind Godfist. I actually tested it on Lucina whenever she was DIing away, mashing air dodge, and jump. And she just had to hold that. Hmm. I need I need to see this. Oh, I actually posted it. I actually posted, made a whole video on it, my man. But uh yeah. Like, there's actually, if you DI in, that route that I, I showed off in the video doesn't work. But if they DI in, there's a different route you can go for instead. Like, one thing you can do is, like, Nair, Fair, Fair, Electric Wing Godfist, Dash Back, Forward Smash. They still got to hold it, even if they DI I, I'm in. I'm not or processing away. all that. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, too, too, too fast to process immediately. It's it's definitely the only hard part of that whole string really is just the electric wind god fist and like just back dashing into forward smash. Once you get that down, it's it's not that hard really. So what would you say? It's like his, here's a question for you. What are his best three moves in order? Okay, Lord. Oh man, that's a tough one. I mean, obviously you know the first one. You know what the yeah, first yeah electric wind god fist is number one. What's number two? <sighs> number two. Rage grab. Any rage grab. Yeah. I'd say a rage grab has to be top two. There's it like three. Be, there's yeah, like three like, versions of it. So if it's in, that, fact, in fact, I'd say Rage Grab is number one. Rage Grab, yeah. Actually, yeah, Rage Grab. I think Rage Grab is number it's one. It's the I win button. It's the I win button. I think it's between oh. those, uh, all any of your Rage Grabs and Electric Win. I think that's what the character is all about. I thank you, uh, Soul three. Slayers. 1092 for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, Soul Slayers. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. Man, that's a tough one. I actually don't know what the third one is because there's a lot of good moves to pick from for the third. Those that's are definitely fine. the top I'll just two, though. Pick an arbitrary number anyway. All right. Oh, okay. Ronan X versus oh. Riddles. Riddles is bad on my ends, and he has Riddles has no shirt on. <laughs> so this is where I really got my eyes opened, right? Like I, I, I kind of kept it close, but Riddles really had his kill confirmed down. He taught me that Electric Wind God Fist up smash is definitely the way. It's such a good kill confirm. Oh, uh, you could have killed him after. So I want to. I want to show you something, actually, Ronan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, after you do the the punch, the dash punch that stuns him over, uh, just do the inputs for the dragon uppercut. If you have, if you don't have rage, it kills at seventy and uh, like seventy percent or higher, which is like nine, okay. thirty, a hundred after hit. But even if if you do have rage, do the exact same inputs and you just do a rage grab. So no matter what, whether you have rage or not have rage, it's still the, it's the best option in both scenarios. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. See, that's the one thing that I have been wanting to work on more is just the kill confirms because I feel like this character's got a lot. Yeah, of kill confirms. just do the dragon yeah. uppercut. Where you, the one where you hold the A button. That's what you do after that. You do the one if you hold the A. See? Okay. Uh, okay. With or without rage. Obviously, it's better with rage, but you know, it's it's in my opinion, it's the best option in both scenarios. Yeah, because um, one thing that I have learned is like at lower percents, you can go into side B, trip, down tilt, and if you time it, you can actually get side B again, go back into your uh, the the trip, and then you can go from there. You can even go into something like, you know, like Hell Sweep or something like that and just knock them off stage. Like, there's a lot of potential with that, but I'll definitely keep that in mind for a kill confirm. The one thing I'd mention, you know how Sakurai was saying, do the F smash after it? I disagree with that. At least in the vast majority of situations, and that's because the F smash doesn't it, it, it always weak hits. Because the way they're on the ground. Yeah, and you don't really have time to backdash yeah. or anything so like I that. So I think you should up. do what I yeah. said. The yeah, whole absolutely, I agree. We fishing. We fishing. We want that we want that electric wind gun just so bad. Uh oh. Oh, well he used it up. You could you can still try to win normally. One Dude. thing that it really needs oh. to be explored is definitely how Tough Guy works with this character because there's always a reason to be crouching, right? And oh, like, I uh, feel somebody, like somebody labbed it. 
Oh, that was a close game. I want to mention, uh, somebody labbed it. Uh, the, you, you mean the natural tough guy? Yes. All right, so he, he has a value of... Uh, Bowser's value is like 19. And like launch or whatever. Like how much he'd be launched. So Bowser's value is 19 and his value is 14. So okay. whatever whatever that means. It, it's just... just Whatever that means in terms of like how strong a move is would hit you. So you, you okay, can both yep. block like a flurry attack, but there might be specific moves at certain percents where Bowser will arm it longer. But like if it's, if it's like a rapid A jab, they're probably both going to be the same. I feel like it's going to be really important in like some niche matchups. Like, you know, we have to deal with multi hits because you could like be crouching and like tough guy stuff and then do rising A and get crumple. I feel like that's going to be such a big punish. Is okay, Ronan so playing are, commentating again, at the same play. time? Yeah, he's very he's very talented. Okay, side B. Yep. Do it again. See, like you can't act out of that. I feel you, you, like you, the you best just hold route the, you just hold the a direction. Mm -hmm. I think you can get down tilt from this. I, I labbed this with training mods at one point, trying to get him to roll away and everything like that, and I don't think he was able to. No, oh, you, yeah, you can't do right. the punch trip. Uh, if, if after the trip, if you're trying to do a stun move, it has to be a uh, tech read. Okay. I haven't figured out what's best after trip. I mean, I do know trip into hell sweep is guaranteed. So I think you can just do trip and immediately trip, do Z motion and uh, hit B. Trip rage grab. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, trip rage grab. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna die. Sure, yeah. Actually, isn't the rage grab frame fifteen? Oh well, that's the strongest one. You you could just do a basic grab. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, or, yeah. Or you the other grab the, or, down throw yeah. electric wing gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess you could just electric wind off as every situation. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what, that's like the when in, when in doubt. I don't know what to do here. Well, probably electric. <laughs> Either the best or one of the best in this scenario. Yeah, we were reacting to it here, but like you're noticing a lot of times when we set up juggles, we're like we're like DIing in right above each other. Right there, I actually got caught in with up smash, so I feel like that's gonna be a big thing for like whenever you see that they're DIing like that. Okay, fair. Yep. I feel like fair grab is definitely more consistent at lower percent. Yep, there's the upper. Oh, jump read. See, that's what I'm saying. Is like, if you decide to go high, Kazuya can do it too, man. Like, he can definitely just fly up there and hit you. I tried. <laughs> that move doesn't last as long as you'd think. Like, even though Wait, he's doing the animation, like, even though he's, he's doing the animation, it, like, it stops being a hitbox at, like, a certain point. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Wait, it's not... so you're talking about the down air? I don't know that, yeah, so, like... I, I don't know the exact moment that it stops, but like, it's not the whole thing. Like, it, it, it might look like the same thing as you're falling down the hallway before you can double jump or up B, but the, at some point it stops being a hitbox. Okay, that's definitely something I'm gonna have to take a look at. Yeah, I just because don't I know feel the like it's such bug. a good edge guard tool. Yeah, you just have to be careful with exactly how you use it. If it was a hitbox the whole time, that'd be way better. I love that that down tilt forces a tech chase, man. It's so, so good. Because, like, if you land that in the corner, it's like it's pretty simple oh. to know, like, where they're going to go. They either tech in place or tech roll in a lot of times because they don't want to tech into the corner. And if you just backdash and wait for your side beat, you pretty much can get it almost every time, I feel. Okay, here we go. Trying to see how I'm going to land. Yep, here we go. Man, that is so good. Like, he, he missed the kill confirm there, but, like, after the up tilt is guaranteed to get Electric Wind God Fist, and after that, you can just up smash, because I know that's also guaranteed. Just do it. It's really strong. It's way stronger than your up smash. Ooh. Oh, absolutely. Gosh, that was so strong. So, fun fact, if you uh, go into crouch dash and you hold shield, it'll actually cancel into a crouch and you can do rising A pretty consistently. And it'll also rise with iframes into it. So that's super, super strong. Oh, thank you, Chaos SSB. Thank you very much, Chaos. Ooh. I haven't that seen that kill yet. Okay, so here we go. So, like, 
Ooh, I, feel, I feel like the main I feel like the main objective of this character. You got hit twice, you're at 73. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh, you got oh, hit three no. times. Yeah. Well, I guess you're dead. My you got dead. hit three times at zero. Oh my Hey! <laughs> you lost three neutrals and you died. Three you 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 got hit three moves. Not even three neutrals. <laughs> three individual hits. <laughs> yep. From zero and you died. I feel outplayed. That's that's all I can <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, dude, this character just cheats. <laughs> I you actually just died from three hits. Yeah, like it's pretty much all it takes with this character, I feel. Not even three like, neutrals, three hits! <laughs> the third yeah. move kill! <laughs> just don't don't lose neutral. Just don't lose neutral, you'll be fine. Two, <laughs> one, go! Honestly, if you're ever gonna use laser, I hardly ever see a time to like use it like. He grabbed you at zero and you had 49. In true combo. Yeah. If he grabs you at zero, you you start the stock at 49. Yep. And honestly, if he grabs you at zero, you start the stock at 49, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think about that? It. Yeah, yeah. You are half dead definitely. because you got grabbed. No, optimally, two neutral openings, and you should die from this character, man. The second you neutral? Actually be dead. Oh, no. Well, I, that was a mess up. He should have did yeah, the, you can the thing I that. said. Oh, he did. Ooh. There it is. There it is. That's the fail confirmed. There it is. It's just really tight to pull that off. Oh, you got there we go. I got I finally got that. No back air. That up smash ain't that strong. Is that up smash? I think it's got a sweet spot at the top, right? Yeah, it's not that strong, though. It feels like the low average in power. But it is fast, to be fair. Oof. Uh. Oh, yeah. He oh, my God, that just kills you. There. Dude, he mm -hmm. just goes sideways. Mm -hmm. Imagine recovering against that if you're a Link. <laughs> I mean, a Link could just bomb through it. <laughs> Links generally hit him with like the bomb to get him back onto the stage. I could see that, but like if you're ever like in a situation where you're forced to go low, like I feel like that's a problem. Plus, like one thing I learned is like Kazuya can just go off stage and up B into you because he still gets his double jump, right? And that hitbox of that up B is actually pretty de pretty decent. <laughs> Thank you, Spicy IA, for the tier one sub. Thank you very much, Spicy. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. So yeah, again, just showing up my movement, trying to find my opening. So like, the one thing I feel is gonna be a really big deal is honestly gonna be down tilt and just feigning with it, right? Because you get so much reward at low percent off of down tilt. Like you can get like, if someone like has a bad tech in place ha habit or like you're good at tech, like reading people's tech options, you can get side B and get massive punishes from that, right? Ooh. Oh, wow. Ow. That hurt. I felt that again. I felt it all over again. Yep, I whipped a grab. Look, I whipped a grab, Jason. I almost died. Ain't that just great? Oh, man. <laughs> jab, jab, jab. This is a really cool FD. Oh, I think it's this is the coolest FD, ones. dude. It is. It's either the it coolest or one. Is. It's either the coolest or one of the coolest. Okay, jab, jab, jab. Oh, my gosh. I had to air dodge. Oh! Felt. Trying to go. Oh, this low. character can definitely edge guard. Really? Well, how? What, so, downer? Like, like, down every good. time? So, like. So like I was actually playing a Ness earlier, right? You can quite literally just go off stage and up B into people because of how big that, that up B hitbox is. Like it's actually pretty big. Oof. And then after that you have fair and you still have your double jump, oh. right? No. Plus you I have laser as well. Like, Could you, you know, have combo? Like, several things you can sell. Did you miss time the electric after down throw? I did. Okay. I did. I did. The timing is very strict. Like it, it's definitely something's gonna take practice. That dash tag is so strong. Rail's always doing electric god fist and a jump grab. It's pretty strong. It seems like the consistent bread and butter that he's yeah, been doing here he's, recently. That he's been spamming electric fist and a jump grab. I feel like his up would be better if it was Game Watch's up I mean, yeah. <laughs> the one thing that hurts his up is how long it takes to 
out of it. That was like the first thing Ooh. I noticed that I did. That is so is cool. that good. Is Kazuya that good? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think Kazuya is the best FGC character in the game. What do you think? Um, yeah. Yeah, like, I can say that with my full chest, because, like, I, I'd say after him, it would definitely be Terry, just because of how broken his option coverage is, and Honestly, for obvious Ten, other reasons. Ken and Terry is pretty close, too. I think, it to, is to be close, honest with you, yeah. they're all good except Ryu. Mm, I think Ryu's a little bit underrated, but he is a great Underrated, but who, who, he's, everyone agrees he's the worst one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely the worst one. But he's still pretty solid, in my opinion. Especially after they fixed his fireball. That actually was pretty good. Yeah, simple. they did fix his fireball. But I, I don't hear anybody like... I feel like everyone uses Terra... Everyone uses the other characters instead of Ryu. Is what I meant. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Why are all of his legs invincible? You know, it's funny. Sakurai went ahead and said, Hey, he loses the sword characters, yet he is one. <laughs> he, he, he actually is. Okay, forward throw, here we go. Goes for the down smash. Yeah, I can just go ahead and just get my command grab because why not? That is just free. And now we're back to neutral where we're just dashing around trying to wait for someone to whiff something. Oh yeah, this is when I started messing around with like things I could cancel out of uh, my dash and I started doing that diagonal back kick. I feel like later on, like that's gonna be a really big deal because you can approach with it and when you jump with that, both legs are invincible. The leg that's sticking out on the bottom and above, it's just gonna be a really good spacing tool. And I feel like it's gonna be answered to a lot of characters like like the spam short hop aerials and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just gonna be jump a that kick. Deal. Yeah, because like you can do that. I mean, you're gonna have counter hit options with that. Um, oh gosh, yeah, just down smash. Why not? Angle down, uh, down A and stuff like that. Like pretty much all of those kicks are gonna be pretty big deal. Like kind of like how you see, um, like other Shoto ca play play characters like you know, Ken, where they just kind of space back with Roundhouse, right? It's gonna be like that, except we have way more tools to work with than just Roundhouse. <laughs> one Why is that a kill throw? <laughs> kill throw. You at one ninety. Yeah, I know. But dude, we already have a co we have a command grab too. Okay, you at 190. Why? You're not talking about. One oh no, why did it kill 190? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. <laughs> wait a minute. Pa wait, that actually broke down Smash's armor. Wow. Apparently, F Smash has way more armor than the other two. Yeah, that's true. But that's I what Sakurai, expect, Sakurai said. Um, it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah, that's just the bread and butter right now. The riddle's bread and butter. Oh, I tried. If you missed that tech, I had that. <laughs> you, were, you were looking for tech in place. You did tech away. See, he's mixing up his tech options. He's smart. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like it's that's what you would be doing there. Just tech away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh! That is just, that is so good. Oh, I tested that move against the characters like Sonic, who have like a super low ledge hang, and it still hit him. Uh -huh. It still hit him. Wait, does it work on Ridley? I didn't test Ridley, but I tested Sonic, and Sonic has like one of the top five or top ten lowest ledge hangs, and it worked on Sonic. That is immaculate. I love to hear Sonic has one of the <laughs> lowest ledge, I don't know the exact order of the characters, but I know that he's like the top of top, t he's like top tier in le low ledge hanging. So the fact that it worked on him, it means that it either works on everyone or like 90 something percent of characters. I hope it works on um, it, We Fit. I just, I just I feel to like play it's gonna, on, honestly, but with, you gotta remember, hitboxes are circles, not squares. So, like, it, the exact position you stand matters. Though it wasn't like super free on Sonic, but it like, it was a big enough window that I feel like it probably works on everyone. It's just easier on ca certain characters. That is very significant because getting planked is irritating as yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't, you, you can't plank, you can't plank him. His, his down smash will just kill you. Yeah, like, that's that's really good. And I mean, like, it feels like down smash has so much more they could do than just that. Because, I mean, it leads into, again, Electric Wind God Fist. It's got, it can break your shield. I mean, you can pretty much set up stagger um, combos into it. I mean, like, you know, shield pressure setups. Like, if your opponent wants a hold shield, they can just die for it. But that's, like, one of how many buttons that shield break. I mean, you can do the same thing with, like, double tap forward A and his angled move that also does, um, like, an axe kick move. Hey, did you fight MKLeo today? Or, uh, I did not or... get a chance to play him, sadly. Okay, 
Guys, uh, MK Leo against Vendetta next. All right, looking forward to this. I definitely wanted to get a shot at playing against him because I, in theory, I really do feel like this character will do fine against sorties. It's just going to take time for players to get control of the character in general, just to be able to like be fluently able to with punish with certain things miss because you know through visual cues stuff like that. And I feel like whenever people get used to that, it's definitely going to become a lot more bearable. I ain't gonna lie though, off stage is going to be rough. All right, Vendetta versus Crimey. Shout out to Crimey, one of the one of the sponsors for FPS Online. Thank you so much. Make sure to give him a follow. Oh, well, we're getting right into it immediately. <laughs> okay, all right, let's do it. So I think he's been mostly using Marth. So I haven't actually been paying too now, close. Marth to got buffed. Uh, the, the up tilt is way better. It's stronger and easier to tipper. Dash attack, same treatment as up tilt, and down tilt tipper is easier. They basically okay, all so they did, all they did is they made uh, like the tipper is the same, but they moved the center hit. So that it's closer to the middle of the sword instead of closer to the tip. That way, instead of the center t hit taking priority over the tip, the tip is more likely to take the priority. So basically, when you when you get near the end of the sword, it's going to be a tip instead of near the end of the sword being a center hit. Okay, I mean that's definitely that's seems how, like it's really yeah. good. That that are more consistent tips on those moves. Bam! Oh my gosh, yeah, you still not over you on my home stage. Like, at any time someone just burns their double jump and is drifting towards you, there's literally no reason not to just forward smash. Okay. Electric like wind. Down throw, wish jump grab. Oh, oh, jump fair. So he goes for jump fair. I'm pretty sure at that, uh, at least in zero, you want to do double jump nair because it puts them down, right? And you can follow them with that. And then probably keep it going from there. He probably just doesn't know yet because the guy just too new. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Hindsight's 20-20, you know. Double jump spin. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> it's so goofy. If he did wall bounce on the forward smash, I would have popped off. <laughs> huh. Okay, here we go. Fair back air. There's a lot. There's so much that I feel like we can do about this. Because, like, here's the thing. Whenever you know the Marth is just kind of sitting there, like, spacing short hop aerials, there's actually nothing stopping you from calling that pattern. <laughs> just simply, oh, No, he got too greedy. Dude, he was at 140. Why did he charge it that long? Bro, if, uh, like, I feel like, I feel like uh, we were undervaluing at this point um, uh, DP um, hitting B. I forget what it's called. Uh, Hell Sweep. Like, if you do Hell Sweep at that percent, it definitely would kill. Like, it's actually really, really Wait, which strong. one's Hell Sweep? Hell Sweep is the one where you do um, DP and you hit B, right? It's the one that has What's full DP? body ice, eye frames. What's DP? So it's where you do the Z motion. Z motion and you hit the B button. Yeah, I, I'm not used to these the ter terminology, so my brain doesn't process it. Oh, Thank it's you. fine. It's just FCC. Dogs. Yeah, I'm not used to them. I don't react off it. Thank you, the S Sindota TTV. Love you, MTK. You're the legendary Smash player. Hope you get to play me one day. Look on Medify. I play anybody. Medify.gg. And just as I'm saying that, uh, I looked away for a second and later lost his next stock. He died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, this is not this is not a legal stage. This is just for fun. Yeah, it is just to showcase the characters and kind of see, just so you guys can see what, you know, everything looks like. I like this stage, though. It's a fun, casual stage, like, big time. I liked it more than Terry's. Well, uh, guys, um, Marth just got buffed, so Leo's trying out the new buffed Marth. Um, how significant? I mean, I don't know if you play this character. And much, Lucina but how has been better. Are the okay, buffs? so he's definitely better, um, but Lucina is still better. Oh yeah, consistency is everything. They're going. They're they're on the right track, but they. I don't think they realized how big the difference was in the first place. Since like 2018, <laughs> you know. Okay, so here we go. Like, the big thing for, like, swatting away Marth when he's doing short-up aerials is definitely going to be back tilt, right? That's going to be the big button. <laughs> he just came back. <laughs> What's going on, dude? Do you see that? It's so goofy. Mm -hmm. Do you see how he's just, like, floating in a goofy way? Like, mm -hmm. you see like, you see that? That's mm -hmm. so goofy. It's, <laughs> did you see how awkward that was? I, I could tell Leia was getting caught off guard by the stage being goofy. 
Yeah, this is definitely not a normal. This is definitely not a stage that you would normally pick. Oh, okay. absolutely yeah. not. This will definitely not. This is like one of those for yeah, like. This is no what you do as an exhibition. Yeah, that stage definitely messed them up a few times. Thank you, I Clean Windows, for the rate of 19. All right, dash tag. That is so fast, man. I have to say that that dash tag is definitely better than I thought it was going to be. And also the fact it kills so well is great. Okay, oh, double jump down here. Quick, almost 20. I feel like what's going to be optimal is definitely going to be reacting more with Hell's Gate. Because, like, if you're ever, like, got someone, like, in the corner, like, they're, like, center stage, there's zero Ooh. reason not to throw that out. It also sets up the tech chases and a whole bunch of fun stuff like that as well. And, you know, 30 damage, you know, that's, you know, that's nothing to turn your nose up at. Bye-bye. Are you dead? Oh, He's you exploded. Dead. 70. Hey. And that's, just it's, it's, to be honest, that, that move's always been like that. It's just that only Leo goes for it. That's, you know, that's what the one move that Mar Mar Marv's you. side B is way better than Lucina's because Lucina's will almost never kill because of the way the way to move works. It'll almost never kill. Whereas, like, Marf and Roy, Marf, Marf and Roy can always kill. In fact, Marv's is stronger than Roy's. I believe in Smash 4, you had to delay it with Marv. Is it the same in this one or does it just, does uh, it just kill? It depends on your distance. Okay. I see Leo do three and then delay it and then do the fourth a lot. But it's it's also based on where you hit them. It's like near the end. You, you kind of want to tipper it or almost tipper it. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I seem to do one, two, three, wait for a lot. Just immediately goes in with down tilt. I bet if you just crouch with uh, Kazuya, you can do diagonal back kick. And I, because of the invincible leg, it might actually beat that down tilt. I would not even be surprised. I think Leo's testing down tilt more because it just got changed. I don't blame him. It's a great poke, and I mean, like, I, what does he get from Tipper exactly? Uh, I mean, it's just da it's just it's just damage. Okay, that's what I thought. Wow, that was such a wonky interaction. Double jump is spent. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, nowhere to go. <laughs> Gosh, that move. You know, when I watched the presentation and I saw him using Robin's jab to knock it out of him, I thought, oh, that's, that, that's you know, you're going to get lose neutral one time like KO Punch and that's over. Nope, you can actually take a little bit of damage. If I'm not mistaken, this ceiling is a little bit lower than um, FD. But I have not got the chance to test that. Yeah, I, I think I tested it. I think it was a lower ceiling than FD. But on the flip, but then the ceiling also sometimes saved you too. But, uh, so yeah. Bernier. Yeah, he can't land. See, this is definitely a showcase uh -oh, of like, he's at kill where percent. Uh oh, don't get grabbed. Oh, no, are you going to die at 45? No, not quite kill percent. Maybe yeah, should have waited maybe, maybe, maybe to, wait to 55. Oh, my gosh, man. That's so satisfying. He even got the snipe of the laser after. Oh, he didn't, he, didn't know how, he didn't know how to recover on the stage. Oh, I should've just went for fair. But, oh, he missed, he missed. He was almost dead at 48. I think he tried to up B and he missed. Or he tried, he even tried to up B a roll, but he missed. I saw his shield tilt. Okay, okay. Now I'll throw up air. Uh oh, you're gonna don't get grabbed. He tried to it's get the trump uh, there. You uh, can't really even see him. Why why does it feel like oh. Mars losing? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, you got the tip. Yeah, why is it why was it why was it even I have no idea. I have no idea. This is this character is insane. But you know, so is Marth's tippers. That's just how it is. He died so early. Yeah, a lot of the this uh, he was making use of the up tilt being stronger and being more consistent. Basically, Marf's down tilt is more useful and up tilt is just way better. Dash attack's better, but you know dash attack's not even a good move. So, I'd say his most important change was up tilt.
Because yeah. dash attack buff, yeah, it's great, but you're not using that anyway. So does does he have a kill confirm into it? No, he just it's just a standalone buff to move. That's an underwhelming move in this game. It's not like melee work okay. combos. It's just it's just a standard hit. Up totes actually okay. way better in every way. It, it does more damage, kills better, and it tippers more. So up totes his big his best uh, buff. Oh, I dropped it. I feel like that's going to be something that's really weird for a lot of players. It's just how much hit stun, like, things like Electric Wind Godfist Fist has, and, like, how long you have to follow up, right? Because in Smash, when you get a hit, it's all about, like, okay, as soon as it hits, you can buffer to your follow-up, right? No, and this, you actually don't want to buffer, and it's, like, throwing a lot of players off. There we go. Yep, forward smash. Random yep, forward why smash. not? Just do it. <laughs> as like just random forward smash. I have to say, one of the best things about Kazuya is just how good his shimmy is. Like, when you just kind of, like, walk back and forth, it's actually as good as Ken, which was one of my biggest gripes about Terry, believe it or not, was that his walk was just not that good, right? Like, you couldn't really, like, move, like, microspace walking back and forth, really, with that, with that character. But this guy, he has that, and it's great. It's going to be really, really important for offline play. Ooh, no. He called the tech roll in, too. Okay, here we go. See what I mean? Bro, that's what I meant. One, two, yeah, three, wait, yeah. four. I love how Vendetta also went for like the wake up super right like that. Like that is like, that's just like, it's uh, just going to Armor your attack. Again. I have armor. So if you landing aerial or landing air dodge, you die both ways. This is just as long so as good. I catch that you're where, if you're going to hold after, right? But <laughs> the window, the window for that follow-up into Wind Godfist from that diagonal kick you saw him pop him up into is really tight, but it's it's definitely guaranteed. Ooh. That was a that was an opportunity. Like it, it's gonna be so scary whipping anything in front of Kazuya's face, because you're just always at risk of just getting opened up. Yep, fair. Harry? Ooh. Why not? Anta air fair. So fun fact, that fair is actually disjointed enough, it'll just beat messes. Like, in a short hop contest. Like, if you he short hop the same time as Ness, just lose. Online, let's just go for it. <laughs> I want to admit, I felt like Leo did the wrong input twice. It looks like his controller is making him, he was trying to do up totes to the left, but he accidentally F-toted. And then he looks like he wanted to do downer and he accidentally fared. It looks like Leo's controller is the C sticks messed up. No, no, I don't, I don't think, I don't think most people are going to, would have noticed that, but. That, that that was some deep insight right there, man. I don't know. I, I did not see that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I've 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 played Marf, so I saw that. I guess the, the translation for me would be like, whenever you see down tilt Hadouken, you never know that. You never think that's actually on purpose when you see that with Shoto. So I mean, I you totally could, you, that. if you play the game, you could tell when people like didn't do it. Like I've seen the same thing so many times where Marf does down. You do Marf does a down air, and then it combos to the F smash. You do it for like the tech chases. So you could tell like immediately. Oh, it messed that up. Or low percent, you want to do the up tilt combo. Shut up, heartbreaker. <laughs> I feel like when they DI away when Electric Wing got this is no longer true, you can just simply go for back tilt and like it'll just roundhouse right into them and knock them away. Like that's always still just good damage. I just suck. Uh, just... I'm just gonna oh smash my. attack. That's a vendetta. That's the that's a vendetta, strategy, the vendetta man. special. Just smash attack. It might work. Let's do it. Oh, you're gonna grab. <laughs> oh! Are you dead? Oh my god, that almost killed. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> Marf top tier? No! Lucina's still better. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's like a Dr. Mario situation. Like, why would you play Doc even when you have Mario? Whoa, do you see that? Do you see, wait, wait, do you see how Leo just zoomed in? Oh no, yeah, Leo's okay, but it's head hit combo. What are you doing? 
How can you get hit by the 10 hit combo meme? You know, the funny thing is, even in Tekken, because I know you probably never played Tekken before. I, like, I have. Tekken, Tekken, I tried the for the first time a week ago. Oh, okay. So, yeah, 10 hits? Not even in that game are they true. Not even in that game. So it's supposed to be a meme. And honestly, I think it's really funny that Sakurai added it like that. Yeah. So if you, for those that don't know, if you hold away, it stops working there. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps going oh for that. God. He definitely is. Bye. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, this character is so hyped to watch. I love watching this character. I can't wait to see where he's going to be a month from now. I, think I guarantee you you're going to see him in top eights. What? I guarantee you're going to see him in top eights. Yeah, when people get better at the game. Yeah, sure. definitely. Thank you, JPG, 5,000 for the resub. How is Marf not top tier if that's hipper? Because that's only when it works. There's still going to be a lot of instances when both players are moving about and you don't get the tipper. Unless you got to think about who you'd be putting him above, you know? There's yeah, a Ma lot Marf of is still below average, game. guys. Marf is still below average. Lucina, or at least Marf is still worse than Lucina. That's definitely true. Marf does have some things better, but he's not better overall. Um, and Kazuya is probably the best uh, FGC character in the game. I would definitely say so. As far as just like his raw tools on the ground, like he's got the best ground game in the game, bar none. I don't think that's even a, a, even an argument at this point. He does what the Shotos want to do on the ground, but better. Like, much better. Thank you, does Zone only... 27 for the tier one? The only thing I would say otherwise would be like... His air game might not be as good as someone like. No, his air know, game's the, his air game's terrible. You know, I think the big reason his air game's terrible is not because not because of the moves. It's because the not seven frame jump squat, and when he double jumps, it doesn't come up come out till frame ten. Like he goes down first. Like you know how Yoshi goes down before go Yoshi and Nestle go down before going up. It's the same with Kazu. Mm -hmm. He doesn't go up to like frame ten of double jump. That's a big deal. Yeah, that means you could. Yeah, that's very. Big that means that's just why I think Kazu is just gonna have to ban Battlefield every time. It's definitely gonna take some time to like see if there's ways of working around that, but uh, yeah, you're gonna have to like make a lot of reads if you do end up going to try plats. But yeah. like, where where would you? I'm trying to think. Side like, platforms are side platforms are fine. Just the this is the top platform this bedroom. Yeah. All right. All right. Last set. MK Leo versus Riddles. Oh, this is gonna be hype. I'm looking forward to this one. Best player in the world versus probably the best Kazi right now. I would say so. I would definitely, out of the Kazuyas I've played so far between Vendetta and him, uh, I haven't got a chance to play for Dark Shed. It definitely seems like Riddles has his kill confirms down more consistently. And like, he definitely has a pretty good understanding of neutral, like for, you know, week one, right? I definitely feel like he's gonna be popping off very soon. All right, let's get right into it. Best player in the world against the best Kazi in the world. The best day two Kazuya. Best day one Kazuya. Pal is hard for Kazuya. Dude, Pal, Pal is just broken. Pal could be the best character. Honestly, yeah. Like, other characters have to time their stuff, and then there's the Palutena just does stuff, and you just hold that. <laughs> Like, Nair back air is better than both characters. <laughs> Alright, let's get right into it. Alright. Well, I wonder if they're going to go on the... Are they, what stage are they going to pick? The FD version? Battle, FD, Battlefield? Or the... Normal, the, the house. The house! Why not, man? We're having a good Why time. Why not? We're having a good time. So here we go, Riddles versus MK Leo. So this this is definitely something that I, I expect to see Riddles do better just because he has better control of the character early on, like you said before. Like what you're gonna be seeing a lot of is gonna be like him just trying to force his way in and MK Leo is just gonna like, keep that disjoint out. There's not a whole lot to like, you know, say outside of that as far as neutral. But like 
the fact that we can actually combo characters of this weight at higher percents and even leading to kill confirms is so big. Because this is also the first FGC character that we're not even worried about SDI really. Outside of like, you know, 10 hit. But like, no, the fact you, that you, have you don't even need to, you just hold away. I mean, SDI will get you out faster, it's not even necessary. Oh, yeah. Oh I mean, my yeah, god, these away. interactions are goofy. That, that, that broken <laughs> house, they're just like, I'm off the house. Let me just slide a quick 10 feet <laughs> in the air. When you're actually playing, I, you really do feel the impact. I love the effects that Sakurai added to the stage. It just makes it so, so fun. Okay, here we go. Got MKLeo's got center stage. How he's going to do here? Oh, gosh. He actually got uh, non-electric into electric. He could have kept that going, too. That was so crazy. Okay, jab, jab, jab. Just get him away. Double jump is spent. I feel like that's going to be really scary, right, on bigger stages. If your double jump is gone and causes you sharking under you, like, there's so many different ways he can just checkmate you on landing. I can't see him because of the camera, lol. Boom. Ooh. I don't know about down throw combo at like 70. Nah, at that percent, I don't really think you're going to get a whole lot out of that. Maybe Anything. it would be best to like set up a like forward throw or something like that just for like the stage control. I'm not really sure yet. You try to do the dash, do dash attack. What? He just buffered up air and it worked. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Goofiness. Run up, down tilt. Run up. Yeah, the up tilt's clearly way better. That's by far oh, his, his most, like, improved move. Oh, yeah. Uh, when you electric godfist and somebody shields, Kazuya has the frame advantage. Although, you're basically neutral, because you both get pushed really far away. But he actually technically has frame advantage. What's really funny about that is, like, if someone does, like, neutral get up, like, if you react with electric wind god fist, it's just gonna shove them off the ledge. It's like, it, I, I know a melee, whenever you hit someone when they're really close to the ledge, it shoves them off. It's kind of like that interaction. Ooh. Huh. Do it. He said, you try to punch me, jerk, tipper. The cool thing about that mix-up, now, of course, they, they block, you're gonna die. But if you know that they're going to try to call you out by throwing at a certain button, you time it correctly, you can just like slide right on stage. And that move does have iframe startup. So you can just slide right through somebody as soon and like right through like a forward smash or something like that. Wait, what you just got to hold that. Um, um, uh, side B. So like if you time letting go of the ledge, jump side B, you actually slide right on the ledge. You'll end up crossing them up, going right through their move because of the iframe startup. And now you can just do like. Um, you know, the trip move into um, Hell's Gate or something like that, and now they're dead. Because Hell's Gate sent some... Not, not Hell's Gate. Um, the DP motion... Um, the Z motion into B. Um, Hell's Sweep. Sorry, Hell's Sweep. Then it'll end up killing. Thirty damage. Why not? But like, yeah, like right there, like you can just angle down your laser and like cover like a lot of tech options and get even more damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going <laughs> on? <laughs> what? Goofiness. <laughs> are, are you dead? You're at 55. No, you're not dead. The house actually might save him. Ha! <laughs> punch, punch, punch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, he missed. From Mark. that angle, it looks like you might be able to get uh, diagonal, uh, diagonal up in A, because they, that one where that kind of like swims, spins like three times, you can definitely end up getting that. Ooh, ha! Back through. High foot still. He knows he just wants to. He just wants to air dodge. Leo yeah, knows that's it. a that's just a rough position to be in in general. There it is. And how combo? Mm-hmm. That's true. That is guaranteed. Like the roughest positions to be in is definitely when you're above Five. your opponent and just like, trying to force your way down. He's trying to extend his. Just like you know what? I have a lead. Let's get a quick forty. Why not? Right? Why not? Double jump was gone. Imagine before it smashed there. He was just dead. <laughs> like, honestly, like, honestly, you could just, like, forward smash, like, a little Mac whenever someone's double jump is gone. Because I guarantee you, you're just going to get so many free stocks. Whenever they're at high percent, Leo always tries to... 
Uh, run up, down tilt, and then up tilt him. But he might just be testing it out. Trying Probably. Move. But at the same time, it's a pretty safe poke to throw out. Like, you know that Kazi wants to come at you on the ground, so, like, why not, right? Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bye, Mark. GG's. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. <laughs> Shake my hand. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that is the most robbing move, I swear. <laughs> that, is, that is a rob move. Sakurai was saying he's the most comeback character. We And we thought Terry was comeback. He's more comebacky. Look, man, I like, Go is broken. Don't get me wrong. Go, but is, go, go is go broken. Show. Go is broken. It but so, but so is so is uh, so is his Kazuya grab. The funny thing is, is no one's even labbed the like the potential zero to deaths into that move. I guarantee you, there's a couple. Like, I bet if you do something like Rising Nair, Fair, Fair, Electric Wind, God Fist into that, because I know that will combo, I bet they'll just die. Huh. <laughs> He's went it for it. Okay, so here we go again. Just trying to feel him out. He slid right under him there. That's so good, man. That is going to be so massive for so many matchups. Because it, in Smash, you know, like, the majority of neutral is just short hop spacing aerials and stuff like this. And this guy has clear counterplay to that. That is so big. It's true. I feel like he's just getting a... The fact that he has so many precise tools for different situations is, like, guaranteed to improve over time. Yeah, like he feels like he's got a counter to pretty much any situation. You just gotta know what that is. Yeah, right? you, it's gonna. It's one of those things where he's guaranteed to just improve over time. Absolutely. I think that it's gonna take this character a very long time to be like fully explored. I think like longer than any character that's in this game. I think. Yeah, probably. Look, he just rolled out. You saw that, right? Yeah. Bro, he was like. Oh wait, that was the super armor. Is that the super armor? No, dude, that was tough guy. He just rolled out and he was like. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant with the super armor. Riddles, he should have did the the dragon fist after the the punch. That has no business putting him at 83. <laughs> He's at 41, dude. <laughs> that is just that is just crazy. Yep, you can't grab that. Like, like the down tilt's not really that safe, right? But when you space it and the shield pushback, it's it's actually not bad at all. I mean, I think when I tested it, it was around, like, what, negative 13 or something like that on block? I want to mention, I noticed Kazuya kind of gets juggled. <laughs> he just gets juggled. He definitely does. So, like, the thing is that I think is going to be the big deal for, like, knowing how to get out of juggle state is going to be, like, calling out certain aerials and armoring through it with this command grab, right? I don't know the startup of his armor yet. That's actually something I'm going to be looking up very soon. Because I feel like if he uses that to, like, call out when people want to go after him, like, he can do things like air dodge and then, like, buffer his command grab when they know he's going to, like, they're trying to catch his air dodge or something like that. That might help. But right now, yeah, I think early meta is going to be us getting destroyed in juggle states and getting bodied when we're off stage. But even even off stage, I feel like if you do things like immediately buffer your up B, you still have the mix of your double jump, which is definitely like super helpful. And you can stall with laser as well when you see super aggressive approaches. So like you can like mix up the timing when someone's trying to edge guard you. There'll be mix, but I will say this. I think that his mix is definitely not as good as other FGC characters. He might, he could potentially have a worse disadvantage than than all the other FGC characters. I think his right now. particular landing is really, really bad for him. That's, I think that's his weakness. I, yeah, I can definitely see that. But I mean, they gotta give him a weakness somewhere, right? Because he's just broken and everything else. Yeah. He needs that weakness. Riddles needs to stop doing that. It's it's faster and stronger to drag an uppercut after the punch. Or to do the yeah. yeah. If you do the dragon uppercut with or without rage, it's it's always better than the F smash after the, the punch that knocks you down to side B. He should so always side, side B to dragon move, punch. Did you know that it has a sweet spot at the very top that's stronger? No, but it's it's still but it's still better than F, than a weak F smash. Oh F absolutely, yeah, at I least was on not F, F, FD with you. stages. There 
we go. Oh, right. Oh, you, another thing interesting. Another thing about Kazu's disadvantage. Remember when I said his double jump d did rise him in air right away? It took like mm -hmm. nine frames longer. Yeah. yeah, he can't really double jump out of combos either. Huh. Yeah, he has to air dodge. He actually has to. Okay. Yeah, he can't double jump out. Where other characters can. That's a really big weakness. Yeah, that is pretty significant. But I mean, whenever you're dealing with a character that optimally could just have like, you know, is that weak one dash attack and kill you? Is that weak? Weak? That was the weak dash attack. It was. <laughs> these side platform, uh, these side blast zones are pretty small. <laughs> yeah, to say the least. But the weak dash attack wasn't even that much weaker than the regular dash attack. That move is so fast too. Like, I I, I would imagine a certain range that is insanely hard to react to. Yeah, now that I think Damn. about it, it is good design that they make Kazu not be able to indulge him out of combos, but have all these super amazing strengths. He might be the worst. You know, he might have the worst disadvantage in the game, actually. It really depends on the armor startup of down B and like how. I actually don't know how fast his up B comes out. Uh, it's frame right? 12. Frame 12? Okay. Yeah, yeah frame 12 is pretty slow. Because I noticed a couple times whenever I was like getting out of strings, I would just try to mash up, like mash DI away and SDI and then I'd mash up B. Nah. And I got out of a lot of like a couple strings from like well, a Nest player. I was actually playing with it on user a second well, ago. Maybe so. it's uh, the armor could save you. I don't know. I don't yeah, know that's what I'm saying. It's it. like it's it's probably like it's going to come down to the armor of his down B. Because we all know that his, um, that the down B has like a lot of startup, right? We just got to know when the armor starts. Yeah, we'll figure that out soon enough. Ooh, okay. Hi, he bonked, How his, you head. Land? He bonked his head on the ceiling. That was the goofiest trade. I bonked his head. Yeah, the the, 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 the Marf down, he, uh, Kazuya armors the, uh, the down variation. You know, one thing that actually could work. Um, is if you decide to go higher and you're in a juggle state and down air, it can't auto cancel when it hits the ground at certain heights. I think that might be a big deal. You know, like how bayonetas do that, right? I feel like that's going to be a big thing for Cosby as well. Wait, what? So, like his down air, right? If you're at a certain height, oh, yeah, it yeah, will yeah. auto. -cancel. I know what you're talking about. I do right. have Sephiroth. Okay, yeah, hey, exactly. Air. So, same thing. Yeah, here we go. Yep. Oh, he oh, actually God. he actually caught him for his aerial there. That was got so good. Fist at 70. Well, bye. Bye, stock. <laughs> you got outplayed. Hold that. <laughs> no, Leo, you gotta stop using that one. Kazuya armors it. Second best armor after Bowser. So after the electric there, you can wait a couple oh, frames. Oh, get another, oh. Another oh no. Oh, he went for it. But yeah, after Electric um, Wind Godfist, you can delay your up tilt and get another one and keep that going. Like, the command grab is good right now, but I feel like that's going to be the optimal route in time. Oh, he said, you're going to roll away. I know you scared mm. me. You're going to roll away. I'm just going I'm I'm to go where you're going to roll. I feel like you better just run away when you see that. Yeah, he knew that he was gonna run. He knew going. he was gonna run away. That's why he waited. He he ran a little extra far, so that the roll would uh, be caught with, it, with his dash and wait. It's just insane. A lot that of top players do stuff so like that. Coverage. Like they know the opponent's gonna like buff a roll away because it's like the immediate escape run away option, and they know they're gonna in that mindset of the run away mentality or buff a roll away mentality, and you, mm -hmm. just, you just go where you think they're gonna be, read their fear, and then. Bam. It's so good. It is It is so good. I would honestly almost go as far as to say that might be the best comeback mechanic. Because you also get a rage modifier on top of all that. Like, does the rage actually stack? Because if it works like, you know, like, what, Luke? Um, I mean, uh, he, he does have the normal rage, but in addition, it's 10%, 1.1 multiplier after 100. And then his grabs, get, and his, cool. then his grabs get better, too. Like... So it's a I lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Like, with time of the development, there's going to be zero to deaths with that, too. Thank you, VelGB, for the resub. I wonder if they're going to try the normal stages at some point. 
Or if they just want to keep doing those two. Wait, what? Pretty much for all my sets, I had to set to random. Oh, so. yeah. Well, no, I haven't been getting the notification. I haven't been getting the noise ding for it. Oh. Thank you, VelGB, for the resub. L Raf for the resub. Let's go, Kazia. 38 of me for the resub. Red Eyes Furby. FPS and Menace. 13 for the resub. Hey, guys. And Playful Piano for the resub. 13 Pensive. Anyway, hi. I'm, okay, I'm trying to get more ultimate players in the Flash 2 community to keep on hosting Flash 2 tours. All right. Thank you very much, Playful Piano. And thank you, Coil Twitch, for 100 bits. That's actually really cool that you do support the Smash Flash scene. That game is very underrated. It is such a good game. Yeah, it's uh, trash support of seeds. Sorry if I missed anyone. I'm, I'm used to, by habit, I'm used to having the notifications on, but on FPS, they're turned off, so caught, caught my habits off guard. Sheik is not bad in Ultimate. She's just bad all mine. <laughs> uh, rage Grab? Yeah, there's a, there's a special input which does a strong ground rage grab that does 40 damage, but the other, otherwise you get like a 33 damage one, I think. It's definitely somewhere around there. It's like 40.1 damage solid. for the rage input. One thing I haven't tested is like, does it stale for like whenever you whiff? Because I know he said that. Like, no, no, no. So the way it works is it. like, roughly, uh, when you get rage, if you take 37% or more, then you lose it, or if you miss six grabs, you lose it. So for missing one, okay. missing one grab counts for about six point something percent. Okay, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Wait, is the last game? All right, last game. Before we we go on to our rivals. All right, let's go ahead and see this. This has been really exciting to watch. Oh, Pokemon. Okay, so they did go to a tournament. A normal stage. stage. Okay, right off the bat. Like, it's always so scary to lift these normals in neutral, right? Like, he already got one opening, got 11 from a jab. And that jab sets up so well in tech chases. I feel like at lower percents, when you know they're going to do that, you're going to want to, like, crouch dash forward just to kind of, like, cut them off from center stage. Yep, there's the bread and butter follow-up we saw before. Yep, yep, tech in place. Yep, just throw it out. Got up on the platform. Yep. Oh my God. You know, it's so goofy. Like, one thing a lot of people don't talk about, Kazuya is up air, man. That up air is actually really good. Even if it has iframes on the leg. Dude, every single leg movie has his iframes on the leg. Wait, is the fair? Dude, I, oh, well, okay, except that one. Okay, <laughs> I feel like every. Yeah, I don't think fair and back air have. When, when okay, so like, besides his forward air and back air. But it feels like almost every leg attack he has in this event. Well, ha, ha, that's funny. What percent was that? I didn't catch that. Uh, it's like a weaker up smash. Slightly weaker up. It's basically like an up smash. Oh, okay. Or a weak up smash. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. So, like, whenever, like, MKLeo burns that double jump, like... All you gotta do is just get under there with any needy. He's gonna he's gonna lose every time. Like that would be a perfect time to go for Hell Sweet, which is definitely something I'm not seeing a lot of like anybody use yet. But like you literally get full body iframes and it's a kill move and it has confirms. It's like I honestly say you subscribe so many of his moves. <laughs> say what? You just subscribe so many of his moves. Oh yeah. Oh, Invincibility yeah. frames confirms it to this kills. Well, this one, the fun thing is the angle, right? It sends you straight to the blast zone. Because if you go, like, right, like, like right like where he's facing right now, he would go straight right. Like, so you'd want to go for that oh. instead of something like would send him straight up. Plus, you've got to think about, oh, which way are they DIing? I can mix up their DI as well. Oh, I haven't seen Ooh. that move yet. I have not. I forgot that was a move because I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it kills, and, of course, you get... It, so many different follow-ups from it. Combos into electric got win god fist, but so does everything. So. He knew he was Riddles knew he was gonna roll. Riddles has been chasing these rolls. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Air dodge! Oh no, he mistimed it! Uh-oh. Uh, he, mis he mistimed Back the air just beat it. He's gonna air dodge this time. You don't only get laser three times. Uh oh! Oh, bye bye. That was good. <laughs> God, just do it, dude. Wake up, just grab. Just do it. <laughs> that was a close game.